Can you see those gray hairs right there? I've been on vacation for like a month and a half. That is residual stress from flight school. <laughs> now I know you're asking yourself, Andy, I want gray hair. What do I have to do to do this? Step-by-step -step process. Step one, join an accelerated flight school. And if you're curious, what is it like to be in an accelerated flight school? I made this video and it shows you what it's like on one of the busier days of an accelerated flight school. I feel like I've said accelerated flight school more than I should have. Accelerated flight school. Yeah. It's 10 a.m. and I got my syllabus that you're supposed to always bring with you. And I got my book bag, which has got all my pilot equipment in it, headsets, the whole deal. And uh, today I have a ground lesson and two flights. And uh, I'll explain that here when I'm, while I'm driving out, because I have an hour drive anyways, so. I chose to live far away. The ground is one of my final ground lessons for uh, for commercial. They're gonna be going over all the information to make sure that I know everything before my check ride, which is in like three days. And then after that, we have to do a, another flight, and this flight is based off of maneuvers. And then I have to do a second flight, and this is because I'm short on hours, like our flights have been finishing earlier than normal. There's certain hour requirements that have to be met. So for this flight, for the second flight, we're gonna do a cross country, make up some of those hours. And then that's the end of the day. So let's see, let's see how this goes. Uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, Blue Line has two facilities. They have what they call the pilot, uh, I forget what it stands for, it's the training center. <laughs> and then they have the flight center, which is actually at RDU. I'm at the training center right now, and, uh, and this is where we usually do ground lessons. You can do ground lessons at the flight facility, but you have to pay for parking. So, nah, not about that fam. Uh, and if you don't know what a ground lesson is, a ground lesson is just, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's you with an instructor going over information that's tailored specifically to where you are in the program. So, and that's what I'm here for today. So let's do this. dead here right now because it's really nice weather and we've been dealing with like really odd weather lately so all the pilots are trying to cram in and get their flight time in as much as they can <laughs> telling you when they say it's accelerated it's accelerated they take advantage of every minute they can here This one doesn't have fuel, and it doesn't have a beacon light. Okay, so it is now 12:30, and we're gonna grab some lunch, and then I'm going to head to the flight center, and let's prepare for a flight. First flight is going to be maneuvers, maneuvers, and the second flight might be to Kitty Hawk to First Flight Airport where the Wright brothers first took off. We'll see. Got a check ride going on in there, and there's a check ride 
going on in here? All right, so I just finished all the pre-flight that I was supposed to do for so figuring out the weather, figuring out the weight and balance, the whole deal. And now, head up to the plane, frickin' fly. Instruments checked, all good, all fluids in the green. 413 Bravo Lima, change my frequency 12745. I'm on your frequency, 12745. Yep. Yeah. Charlie Tower, 401 Bravo Lima, straight in 32 with your bus. 401 Bravo Lima, Charlie Tower, request. It's on. Number 413 <laughs> Bravo Lima, runway 23 left, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. Runway 23 left, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. 413 Bravo Lima. All right, two, three left. Caution wake turbulence. Caution wake turbulence. All right, low is good. RPM set. Airspeed's alive. Looking for 67. Probably must have heading 160. Uh, heading 160 for 65 Lima. Permit 416 Lima, turn left heading 160. Heading 160, 65 Lima. Johnson County, 401 Bravo Lima, left downwind, runway 21, Johnson County. Chicane? Johnson County. <laughs> Johnson County, 401 Bravo Lima, final for runway 21, Johnson County. Taking a break at Johnson after we just did a bunch of maneuvers and then we're headed to the first flight. Our long ass flight today. Look at this. Look at this. Family's here. Johnson County, 401 Bob Lima, taking off runway 21, Johnson County. out on the Arnav approach for runway 21, circle to land, runway 3, first flight. Bring that power out to cut a little harder, there we go. First flight, 413 Bravo Lima, final, runway 3, first flight. Fantastic, I popped, but you know, it happens. <laughs>
set. We're gonna go inside, debrief, go over any of my weaknesses, my strengths, figure that out because I fly first thing tomorrow, 8 a.m. And uh, we're gonna try to resolve those right before my check ride, which is two days from now. So, see how this goes. like a day in the life of what it's like to be at Blue Line. And today is like a really busy day, so it's a perfect day to show you all the stuff that can happen in like a really busy day. And I am sitting under a wing because we're waiting for fuel and they haven't shown up yet. I think they forgot about us. How rude. By the way, look at the multi. Look at this blue. Look at this blue. Look at this blue. Look at all the engines. Look at that. Two. Two of them. Two. Taking a break before we head out to the first flight. It's a party. All right, we made it, first flight. Let's do this. My landing wasn't all that great, but I'm a student. <laughs> oh no, I'm actually not anymore. This thing's like 20 something of these. So that's like a, what, a couple thousand bananas if you want it for scale. And then look, right, you come around the corner of the monument. Boom, that's the field that they were practicing taking off. They used to use this hill, according to Instructor X. They used to use this hill, do glider stuff, and then they went down there and tried to do all their flights and that's where all the historic stuff happened. Not in Ohio, by the way, North Carolina. 